it in a way that vibrates your whole body. I blew it up. And hold up a little couple of us in here. took it to a bunch of publishers, and uh, they all said, I'm sorry, but no one will buy this, we won't publish it. So I raised $5,000 and back in 1972, $5,000, well, still could be a lot of money, but it was more then than it is now. So I, um, I got the $5,000, went to the Boris Company, and they published 5,000 hardbound pyramid powers for a dollar each for me. And on January 2nd, 1973, I released pyramid power for the first time to the world. And lo and behold, it took off like a rocket and started selling. And over the next few years, I sold a million and a half copies of pyramid power. Thank you. So when I wrote Pyramid Power, uh, people all over the world got into pyramids. I mean, it was a huge explosion. And so what happened is, is that they started building pyramids in, uh, all over the world. Las Vegas and Russia and you name it, all over the world. And athletes started sleeping in pyramids and people started loving them and so forth. And so well, what happened? Is, is that over a period of time, people were building pyramids everywhere, and not only that, but they started discovering pyramids in places, uh, you know, all over the world. It turns out our ancient ancestors were building pyramids everywhere. But today we're gonna talk about the rejuvenating characteristics of pyramids. And it turns out that pyramids, like the Great Pyramid of Egypt, are based on what's called the Golden Ratio, or the Fibonacci series. After reading my books and pyramids that went all over the world, I found out that in, uh, in the Sudan, in Nubia, they've been building these really steep pyramids, and they're based on the Golden Ratio. Just like the human body, the entire structure of the cosmos, uh, the entire heavens, all hydrogen bond angles are connected by the golden ratio. All bones in our bodies are cells. And this, this is the structure of the Nubian pyramids. And uh, so what happened is, is that in Russia, Alexander Golod, this Russian scientist um, and businessman, has spent, he's built 122 pyramids all over Russia, shaped like this, 122 at a cost of $500 million. And, uh, and they started testing them, and in some areas where these pyramids were built, they're getting flowers growing up that were thought to be extinct for two million years. They treated antibiotics in the pyramid. And what happened is that, you know, you test an antibiotics by seeing how many bacteria a certain amount will kill. And so they took an antibiotic, tested it out, put it in the pyramid for 28 days, and then they tested the antibiotic and its power was increased by two million times. Two million times. So a homeopathic dose of the antibiotic would have the same effect as a massive dose of it and um, and it wouldn't hurt the bacteria in your intestines. They also found out that it, you can treat uh, harmful drugs and harmful chemicals with the pyramid and they're no longer harmful to the body. Everyone talks about the Great Pyramid, you know, and, uh, and uh, that the uh, uh, powers, the dark powers are using the pyramid and on the back of the dollar bill is a pyramid with an eye, the all-seeing eye. But if you look on the back of the dollar bill, it's not, this is a Egypt pyramid. 
That pyramid doesn't look like that. On the back of the dollar bill is a pyramid that looks like this. Okay? Just take a look at it. Get yourselves the dollar bill out and take a look at that pyramid on the dollar bill. You'll see that it looks like this. And the all-seeing eye, the all-seeing eye is, is the grand architect of the universe. The grand architect of the universe, uh, we call that God, we call her God, but uh, uh, she is the grand architect of the entire universe. And, uh, and that all-seeing eye is her looking out over the universe and seeing all of her creation. Not only have they built these pyramids all over Russia, but uh, if they take granite, granite stones and they put them in the pyramid and they treat them in the pyramid for a month and then they take those granite rocks and they put them in prisons, all the prisoners become non-violent. I mean, uh, oh, and I had a cat. I had a cat who, uh, uh, I built a pyramid bed for the cat and she would sleep in the pyramid and then she became, of all things, a vegetarian. And, uh, oh man, this cat, birds, she'd lay, lay on the lawn and little birds would go by and she'd lay there and look at them and they'd come right by her and she'd lay there and look at them. And, uh, and uh, one of the things about her is is that uh, yeah, she uh, she loved corn. We heat up corn and put nutritional yeast on it, and it would drive her crazy. She loved that so much. And so one day, uh, uh, I hear this cat crying in the middle of the night, you know, crying and crying and crying. We thought she'd been eaten. And we go out, we go down to the end of my property, and up on a telephone pole is my cat. And she'd climb up there and couldn't figure out a way to get down. And she'd start to come down and stop. So we went in the house and we cooked up some corn, threw on some nutritional yeast, held that up by the pole, and she came down there so fast to get that vegetarian piece. In Dubai, they're building a pyramid city. And this pyramid city in Dubai is so big that it will hold a million people and it's self-sustaining. So you take this pyramid and if the base of one of these triangles is one, this edge is 1.618, which is uh, the golden ratio. Okay, and the angle of these triangles, if you take this angle here, it's 72 degrees. This angle here is 72 degrees, and this angle here is 36 degrees. And if you do the tangents and the cosines of these angles, they're directly related to the golden ratio. Now, this is what's really mind-blowing, and this is the only pyramid that has that characteristic. If you do the cross section of the pyramid, if you take the, the triangle that's caused by the cross section, this angle is 72 degrees. And this angle at the top is 36 degrees. So it is the perfect golden ratio pyramid. There's nothing else that even comes close. And this is what they're using in Russia. It, it was a book called The Frozen Fountain by Claude Bracken. Frozen Fountain. And he was an amazing architect around the early 1900s. And he designed the set for Cyrano de Bergerac, the first play in which Cyrano de Bergerac was played. And, uh, and all he talked about is, is that life trees are a frozen fountain water coming up and then spreading out and then freezing in perfect harmony. And so trees, if you take all the angles and all the little nodes on the trees, they're all perfect golden angle, just like the pyramid. Pyramids are probably the easiest thing you can do to improve your health, improve 
the power of your water, and the food you eat simply. And you can build them out of paper. You can build them out of cardboard. You can, you know, you don't have to go buy a pyramid. You know, all you do is is uh, is make one. Uh, and and if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to make one, uh, well, you can go buy one. And uh, so when I where? Oh, uh, from uh, booth 208, booth 208, booth 208, that's 208, and if you go now, we'll give you a free CD, Love Songs by Patrick Flanagan. Okay, now. Uh, you'll be on down the moon river. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quand elle me croit dans ses bras, elle me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alice is going to leave the room in a couple minutes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to do a movie. <laughs> We are going to do the biography, and uh, Nick, Nick is uh, Nick Edwards is uh, coming out with a book on his pyramid life. You know, Nick and I got together, and I, I published my book in '73, and I was building pyramid tents, okay, and pyramid tents, and uh, and, and they were wooden dowels, you know, with plastic pyramid sheets. And Nick bought one and he took it home, and his wife said. It's either me or the pyramid. <laughs> and uh, so he kept the pyramid. Wise <laughs> <laughs> <Nice> choice. <laughs> <That's out. laughs> so, Nick, uh, so anyway, so uh, Nick starts making pyramids out of titanium tubes. And, uh, and, uh, and a dentist who does still one plants buys his pyramids and he treats the implants with them and he had a rejection rate of 40% and after treating the, the dental implants with the pyramid, the rejection rate went down to almost nothing. And so, um, it's, you know, this stuff is, is profound. So, uh, you don't have to uh, buy one of these pyramids. You can build your own. And you don't have to buy, you know, these antioxidants either. You can eat raw food diet. You can go get fresh carrots and you can juice them and drink that juice every day. And you're getting all the antioxidants your body needs. But if you don't have time for that or whatever, you can go buy oh, one of the good Dr. Flanagan's mega hydrate pills. And so, um, and come to my website, which is Phi Sciences. That's spelled like Phi is Peter Hotel India, P H I Sciences, Sciences, Science Plural dot com. And uh, if you go on YouTube, uh, we we've, we've got Buzz Bros, B U Z Z B R O Z. If you go to YouTube and you and YouTube. Buzz Bros. There are 22 videos that Ken Sheets, my videographer friend back here, just give a Ken a hand. <laughs> and Ken Sheets put 22 videos. One of them on the Neurophone has 1,500,000 views in two weeks. It's going viral, friends. So you want to know more about the Neurophone? And it's called Flanagan Experiments. If you go to YouTube and you search for Flanagan Experiments, you'll get these videos. And uh, also, Nick and I have a video called Pyramid Pals. All of this good stuff is happening. I so appreciate your coming today. Thank you all. It's been a pleasure being here. Thank you.